Well, the first four Ernest movies just in general are absolute classics, no matter what they were or weren't going for in them. You know, especially if you're around my age, you know, early millennial, if you grew up in the early 90s, they probably were a big part of your childhood. And, you know, look, maybe because I happen to be like a hardcore leftist, maybe I'm projecting a little bit and seeing things that weren't necessarily there. Maybe, not, you know, John Cherry wasn't going for that intentionally, but at least it seems that way to me from my perspective. And, and it's in two areas. And the, the more obvious one, which plays throughout the whole movie, is his easygoing, compassionate, forgiving attitude towards the second Chancer boys. And you can see that whole thing play out even from the moment he first meets them. He's like, I never met a bad kid. You know what I mean? And then that, you know, that mean old supervisor lady who was watching was like, oh, let me introduce you to Sam. You know, totally dismissive, totally. I mean, she's like the Kamala of the scene, whereas like he's like the big old hippie that wants to, you know, not just look at the symptoms, but look at the the root causes and... You know, I mean, and throughout the, I mean, almost right away, they they start messing with them. They, 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 you know, they pull pranks on him, like the poison ivy, and they're, you know, they think he's an idiot, and they're, like, real dismissive and blowing him off. But no matter what, it's like, you could tell that it starts to get to him. He starts to realize, hey, these these guys don't really like me, but he he never gives up. He keeps at it. He keeps trying. You know, and eventually, by the end, by the end of the movie, he wins them over. And you could see their attitudes change, like, right when, right after the scene where he gets, you know, he gets beat down by, like, the steroid free foreman the first time, the construction guy. And then Nurse St. Cloud comes in and tells him, you know, hey, this, he's the only guy that ever cared about you. He's the only person that was ever there for you when no one else was, no one else gave you a chance. And you could see that it kind of got through, like, damn, we were, we were pretty unfair to him. We were, you know... And look, within the context of the movie, you know, almost guaranteed they probably were, were from abusive homes. They probably didn't have family that was there for them or cared about them. Maybe they were deadbeats or abusive. Maybe they, you know, they, maybe they lived in poverty. There's all sorts of reasons that they, they probably turned to stuff that landed them in juvie. And, you know, and again, a guy like Ernest would never hold that against him. A lot of people had, a lot of people got dealt a shitty hand, especially and particularly in America. And when you have a rough start, you you sometimes you just you do what you can with it. You know, and I th like I said, I think at some level, even subliminally, even unintentionally, that was a theme they were going for. It's not to you know, not to give up on anyone just because they just because that, you know, maybe they come across hard in the beginning. And you and like I said, you know, a guy like Ernest is like totally non-judgmental and all that. We we need more people like that. And then secondly, it's kind of you know maybe this is reaching a little bit, but is you know Crater and his sleazy lawyer and all that you know and those construction guys who want to tear down the camp, you know, because there's a Just because, you know, there's this petricide or supposedly like that there was, you know, petricide underneath it. And it's like that's the, that is the like the hardcore capitalist, you know, hey, I don't care if this, you know, destroys history. I don't care if this displaces people and hurts anyone. Hey, if it, hey, if it makes me if it puts more money in my pocket, I'm doing it. And they very rightly, very, very accurately portrayed those as the bad guys. As the villains. I mean, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying that it was overtly political, but it does promote, I think, a sense of of community, of not, you know, hey, just profit, 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 do what we can, you know, it does, I think it really does drive that message home. If I, and if I ever get out, if I ever make, if I ever, I've never been to Nashville, but all four, I think, actually, I think all of the Ernest movies were filmed in and around Nashville. And I, the majority of the locations are still there. 
I would love to actually do a tour and see what they all, I mean, there's been other YouTubers that have done it, but I'd love to like actually see it for myself if I ever go out to Nashville.